reach. Very, very superior when it comes to Leonel Rojas. So Mexico against Argentina, two countries with no love lost when you come when you talk about soccer. So I'm excited to see the reaction of the fans here tonight. Yeah, big, uh, big underdog. Rojas is. All right. So the return of a historic, a legendary lock fighter, Hugo Flores. And Felipe de Maria, I'm sure, is anxious to announce his name. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in catch weight, 160 pounds. Señoras y señores, nuestro siguiente combate es a tres asaltos de cinco minutos en peso pactado de 160 libras. Presentando primero, en la esquina blanca, un especialista en Muay Thai, récord profesional de cuatro ganadas, cuatro perdidas, una altura de un metro con 83 centímetros, peso oficial 160 libras. Presenting now on the white corner is a Muay Thai fighter per record of for wins, for losses. His stance, six feet tall, official weight, 160 pounds. From Buenos Aires, Argentina, and fighting sweat out of Chihuahua, Mexico, is Leonel Simio Rojas. <laughs> Su oponente, al otro lado de la jaula, en la esquina negra, un especialista en artes marciales mixtas. Récord profesional, 10 ganadas, 4 perdidas. Una altura de un metro con 80 centímetros. Peso oficial, 159.9 libras. Presenting now on the black corner is an MMA fighter per record of 10 wins, 4 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, official weight, 159.9 pounds. From Tepic, Nayarit, Mexico. Fighting straight out of... Chicago, USA, es el hooligan, Hugo Flores. The third inside the cage, la tercera sobre la jaula, Daniela Modad. So Daniela Modad will be directing this bout in the return of a former title contender, one of the first faces of our organization, Hugo the Hooligan Flores. Mexico versus Argentina. Fighters are ready, we are ready, and here we go. Welcome back inside the black and gold cage alongside Spot Carlisle, I am Francisco X Rivera. Glad that you can join us. And this could end up pretty fast. Both of these guys have power. Yeah, Hugo's putting the pressure on right away, already backing him against the cage. Oh, there's still a good combination, finishing up with a leg kick. Hugo Flores from Mexico in the black trunks. El Simio Rojas from Argentina in the black trunks. Aldo Rojas is now training in Mexico with Invictus. Flores with the right hand. Man, I think uh, Rojas is already bleeding. Yeah, he got him from the get go and he gets him again with a leg kick. Oh, this is, Rojas needs to gain some respect here. Can't let Hugo keep pushing him back. Well, he's back to the center of the cage and Rojas ate a couple of punches. Flores! Goes for the takedown and a beautiful slam right there, right into side control. Yeah, he's doing a good job of trapping his arm. Oh. That's not a good position. Mm. Get an underhook on that. He's got a free hand to punch. That's that's not good. Yeah, he got everything he needed from that takedown, Hugo Flores. Yeah, great positioning. Yep. He's gonna work to north south possibly or stay right there. A good opportunity to trap his opponent against the cage. And Rojas trying to hip hop, trying to get away from this position. Yeah, that's which tough is with a his very tough one. Arm pinned right there. He's doing a Hugo's doing a great job of pinning that arm and two against one essentially. Big punches from the left side. 
by Hugo Flores. A two-time title contender in the early days of Lux Fight League back in 2019 and 2020. Rojas trying to get away from the cage using his feet to turn. Ball is still inside control. He comes in with a record of 10 and 4. Let's see if Hugo tries to. Oh, he goes ah, to mount. There he goes. And he has plenty of time. That's mount. Doing a good job of staying dominant, staying in control. Ball is raining down punches here. Big bombs. And Rojas is in trouble. He's really not uh -oh. protecting himself. Daniela Modal is very close. Is this going to be over this soon? Might be it. Keep punching, keep punching. Flattened now. Uh oh. Goes to the midsection, then to the face. Daniela Modal staying close. He doesn't want to get too high, needs to keep flattening him out. Let's see if Rojas is able to get out of this first round. Just about to be flat, and that could have been it. So, Hugo yeah, Flores. I'm, I'm Hugo. I'm looking to flatten him out and chop a wrist and go to town. Flores, a veteran of Lux, fight league number three, when he won against Sergio Draco Cosillo, who's now vacated his title in the lightweight division to go to Bellator. Uh oh. Good job using the wall to get up. Yeah. By Flores. Yeah, Hugo missing. Excuse me, Rojas. Terrific opportunity. Now back to stage one here. Then Hugo Flores lost the title in the first title bout in Lux Fight League history against Ignacio Bahamondes from Chile. Bahamondes now fighting in the UFC. And Uga fought here with us inside the black and gold cage for the last time on Valentine's Day of 2020 when he lost another title opportunity against Sergio Cosillo. Good to see him back. He's been completely dominant against Leonel Rojas. Now we'll see if Flores can keep that uh, same, same pace, same strength in the second round. Was simply unstoppable. Yeah, that was that was a rough round for, <coughs> for Rojas. So El Simio felt all the power of the hooligan, Hugo Flores. Yes. Got to use that ape strength to not get taken down. Tough first round for the Argentine fighter. Let's see if he can come back into his own. Here we go. Time for round number two. Hugo Flores from Mexico against Ooh, Rojas nice from spinning. Argentina. And Flores came ready. He's all business. Yeah, he ate that spinning fist like nothing. Flores keeps him going, pushes against the cage, but a good turnaround move from Rojas. Finally shown yeah. some strength here. Rojas has the double unders, or did for a second. Well, Flores told us that they call him the hooligan because he got into a lot of street fights growing up. <laughs> so he's definitely the right sport. Yeah. I don't think I've asked you this question, but do you get into street fights growing up? Oh, that's my background. Okay. <laughs> I uh, used to get bullied, then I became the bully. Okay. <laughs> Look at Rojas trying to find his space. But 
Ugo's attack has been overwhelming so far. Leonel Rojas told us that he's very fond of his endurance. Let's see how long he can resist. He actually resisted through a lot of punishment from Hugo Rojas in round number one. When we asked Rojas about the fighters that he liked, he came up with two very interesting choices. Jason Mayhem Miller, former WEC veteran, and Joe Lazon. He said, those oh, guys wow. are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't met uh, Mayhem personally, but I know uh, Joe Daddy Stevenson, he's, he's an awesome man. Yeah. Great coach, too. Yeah. Rojas is a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Did kickboxing as an amateur. He's so far been unable to do any of that. Good control from the veteran Hugo Flores. So happy to be back in Monterrey. Although Rojas is not enjoying it much. He's swinging and missing for the second time. Oh, big cross big right there from hand. Flores. Yeah, Flores looks like he's in the driver's seat. Mm, nice cap kick. kick. Oh, that hurt. That hurt him. Uh-oh. So Flores being the aggressor again. Going for the finish. He just missed. Yeah, if he lands a couple more of those calf kicks, I don't know. Yeah, man, look at the front leg of Lionel Rojas. That's going to hurt tomorrow. Oh, man. That hurts right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that calf area. It's a weird spot to get hit, man. Yeah. Ooh, perfect right. timing oh. on that takedown. That was nice. Yeah. Time to spin. Close the distance, easy takedown. Yeah. Great job by Flores. Hugo Flores did a tremendous job on the ground and pound. He actually mounted his opponent. He was on side control for a few moments as well. Let's see what he can do here from the guard. Oh, I think he just cut him with that elbow. Right on his cheekbone. Yeah, Flores keeps on working. He's gonna grind trying to get this victory. Flores trying to move to his left and get into side control. Last minute of this second round of a catchway bout. More elbows coming to the right side of the face of Rojas because oh, yeah. he's bleeding profusely now. Cut up. There's Hugo trying to get away from that half guard with 30 seconds left in round number two. Not too sure where that's above the eyebrow that cut. Yeah. Uh -oh. More punches coming down right on the face of Rojas. He's Good surviving damage. somehow. Big damage. Yeah. Woo. Flores has destroyed his opponent so far, but we have to give some credit to Rojas. He survived. <laughs> the ape loves it. So that was round number two. Yeah, another dominant round for uh, Hugo Flores. Yeah, we're excited to see what's left. Let's see if Hugo Flores can finish the fight before we go to the decision. Ooh. There's that well-timed takedown. Perfectly executed.
Hugo Flores, part of the Lux's fight league history. All righty, Daniela Modat getting the fighters ready. Here we go. Hugo is going for the finish. Rojas is trying to survive and perhaps looking for a miraculous shot yeah. that could get him the victory. Shark smells blood. Staying alive is sometimes all you need, Spike, in an MMA fight. <laughs> Just keep swimming. A little uh, malfunction with the uh, tape. That's giving Rojas some time to breathe. Okay, 4.37 to go. Oh, still got some power. Good conditioning from Hugo Flores. Yeah. Yeah, he's not slowing down at all. Still stalking. That kick there from Flores, a quick counter, but un an unsuccessful one from Leonel Rojas. Yeah, one, Flores two. showing a complete game tonight. Anywhere he wants to fight, he's dominating. So this is a catch weight at 160 pounds. As we previously said, Hugo Flores fought twice for the title in the lightweight division. He came up short. But now the champion, Sergio Cosillo, has vacated his title to go fight for Bellator. Mm. So I think he's ready to make a statement tonight. Absolutely. Puts himself in the title contention possibly with this one. Yeah. And that's Spike's favorite division, 155. That's the one, I'm, one I watch the most. Well, something I'm excited about. You're back to fighting. You're going to be in Japan. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, so I'll be fighting in uh, Ryzen September uh, 24th over there, 23rd here in the West Coast. Um, should I say Western Hemisphere? <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a game opponent in Yoshinori Hori and uh, be at the world-famous Saitama Super Arena. Can't wait. So you said 30,000-plus fans, right? 36,000, yeah, I oh think my so. Goodness. Yeah, it's going to be wild. Wow. Well, best wishes, my friend. We're definitely going to be watching. Thank you. Wishing you our best. and Yeah, hopefully um, the world follows suit and adapts uh, Japanese MMA rules. We get some <laughs> knees and soccer <laughs> kicks on the ground here. You're taking me back to the pride. Oh, yeah. The dream days. That's the best. Yeah. And then Hugo Flores chasing. Good knee right to the midsection. We're more than halfway into this third round. Yeah, I think uh, Flores wants to finish. He could get it. Rojas staying alive, surviving. Yeah. Flying knee from Hugo. Rojas is definitely a tough guy, man. But Flores showing all his repertoire. He's got to be a, a little frustrated for not finishing his opponent. Ooh. But look, he might be close to it. Yep. What a body shot right there. Yep. And then out of desperation, Rojas Turn him into grabbing Hugo's leg. Panic wrestler go back to the body. Yeah. Right, I think Hugo went to the midsection once yeah. again. Stay on it. Body, body. He's smelling blood. There's Flores, Oof. good Muay Thai clinch. Knee to the midsection. Oh, big cross now. Oh, got him against the cage, went to the liver. He's trying to finish with a body shot. Oh, oh, he slipped. Now it's time for Rojas to go forward. Flores in trouble for a moment, and that happened right in front of Rojas' corner. Yeah. Everyone got all excited. 
it's a check hook or do you think he slipped? I'm not sure. I would have to see it again, but still. Oh, that's what we said about MMA. Sometimes staying alive is all you need. Yeah. Yeah, you get go too much for the finish, you leave yourself exposed sometimes too. Trying to muscle him off the cage. Hugo's staying on it. He wants that. He wants the Ten exclamation seconds. point. Yeah. Hugo Flores, part of Lux's history. Coming back strong, beautiful spinning kick to finish it off. It was a dominant performance. Hugo, bienvenido de regreso. Welcome back. That was a spot-on performance from the veteran Hugo Flores. And then again, with a vacant title in the lightweight division, good timing. Ooh. Uh, Rojas isn't standing very oh. well right now. It looks like he's about to throw up or something. Wow. All right, Spy, let's go through the best moments of the fight. What do you like? Man, what didn't I like? There were some heavy shots, great ground and pound takedowns. That last round, that last minute, I think uh, Flores was so close, to, or last two minutes was so close to finishing him. That was a check hook that sat him down. Wow. Huh. Beautiful spinning kick. Judge's decision coming up right now. Yeah. Señoras y señores, después de tres asaltos, nos vamos a las tarjetas de los jueces. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone the distance, and after two rounds, we go to the scorecards for a decision. All judges score the fight 30-27 to declare the winner by unanimous decision to El Hooligan. Hugo Flores. No secret right there. 30-27. Unanimous decision for Hugo Flores. What a great performance. And he's back. I guess he's back to claim the title like he was never able to win in his first two attempts. Third time's the charm. That's right. Well, that could be it. That could be the, that's a good opportunity for Hugo Flores.